Today we are proud to expatriate, repatriate, excuse me, repatriate 142 antiquities valued at over $13.9 million to Italy, which were seized pursuant to an investigation of Michael Steinhardt and other antiquities traffickers. One of these pieces is the Herculeum fresco, which dates to roughly 50 CE and depicts an infant Hercules strangling a snake. And you can see that um, um, laid out on the floor below. It originated from an ancient town which was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. And we're pleased that this item, along with 141 other items, will now be returned to Italy where they can be on display, rightfully on display, for the public to view and learn from. So good morning all, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure for me to be here. And uh, it's incredible also the, the, the state of conservation. But what is really incredible, and I want to uh, express my gratefulness for, is the uh, great state of cooperation between uh, the American relevant authorities and the Italian authorities. This trafficking unit here in this uh, attorney's office, uh, we were joking. Art adds uh, the world beauty, and we all need beauty uh, against the, the daily fighting and the horror and destruction and the crime, the aggression of crime. You're looking at one of our most extraordinary and historically significant pieces, and this is a fresco from Ercolano, in English Herculaneum. Herculaneum was one of the two cities, Herculaneum and Pompeii, which were destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. This, this extraordinary um, work of art um, depicting the infant Hercules uh, strangling snakes that were sent by Hera to kill him, as you recall from your mythology, Another object is this Sardinian idol here. This is a Neolithic piece, uh, meaning roughly 4,000 to 4,500 uh, BCE. And you can look at the absolute extraordinary worksmanship. We're talking six, six and a half thousand years ago, and it's just breathtaking. 